Thank you so much for tuning back into Valley News Live. Things are quiet right now. However, that's all going to change on Sunday with that first alert weather day for some wintry impacts with a low pressure system arriving. That's going to impact the Devil's Lake Basin mostly. Now, what exactly we're looking at is we're looking at a low pressure system arriving Saturday night, but the main impacts are going to be Sunday into Monday. Now we're looking at a chance for six plus inches of snow and up to a tenth of an inch of freezing liquid rain too. Now, now with that, we're also going to have some stronger winds that's going to be gusting up to 50 miles an hour. So for some of the impacts, we're going to have that chance for some blowing winds or blowing snow, some difficult travel and some low visibility at times. So here is that hour by hour first alert forecast for what you need to know as you're headed into the weekend. Starting off right now, some partly cloudy skies with temperatures still in those 40s and 50s after a warm day for most of us. But we're going to continue to see the that cloud layer really arrive but overnight tonight. We do have a small band of snow arriving for areas in the Red River Valley. Now we're not expecting a lot of accumulation with this. This is just going to be some light for flurries and that's going to continue to pass by already by 730 in the morning. It's already going to be out of our neck of the woods, but we're still going to have another breezier day tomorrow going to be out of the northeast for the first part of the day. Well, we have our first band of those that heavy snowfall arriving near that Devil's Lake Basin and that's going to continue to stretch to impact most of the northern counties along that international border with our temperatures below freezing, which is going to allow for that to fall as snowfall, but we're still going to have a breezier winds having that chance for some blowing snow already just by your evening hours tomorrow. It's still going to continue to linger in the evening hours in the north, but then on Sunday, that's when we have that chance for that mix of that ice, especially near that Carrington up into the Devil's Lake Basin. That's where we're going to have that chance for the that ice to continue to stick and have that tricky travel. And as we hit throughout the rest of your day on the morning on Sunday, we're still just going to have that target area stretching from Jamestown through the Devil's Lake Basin really have where we're going to have the most travel with that freezing rain and that low pressure system is going to continue to turn throughout the area. Now, most of this snowfall is going to be in North Central central part of North Dakota. As you can see here for that snowfall potential, we do have a chance for a few inches near Devil's Lake, but where you see that purple, that's where we're going to get eight to 10 inches and that's going to be out near Minot. There is a chance for areas near Rowlett County to get some. However, for that ice potential, we also have up to a tenth of an inch where you see that hot pink per er, that hot pink. That's where we have that chance for that ice potential. But otherwise, we're not having much wintry conditions right now. Temperatures here in Fargo just shy of 50 degrees, 49 degrees here in Fargo, 61 in system. But even then, we're still having temperatures stay on the cooler side as we head throughout the next couple days with that first alert weather day on Sunday for that chance for some wintry mix. And then we see temperatures continue to cool down into those 30s. Still a few 40s, Courtney, as we head into the rest of the week and even into next weekend. But don't worry, we do have another 50 arriving. We just got to get through the first alert weather day on Sunday. All right, Shelby, thank you.